back week after week, and some of you are brand new to this call. So thank you for trusting us and opening us up into your homes. Um, we are 45 minutes. So we, we come on, we tell you some stories, we kind of stir a few things up, and, uh, and then we're here for you afterwards. So that's the exciting thing about it is this is a family. This is a community of people who really do care. And we, we love to know what's help, how we can make a difference and how we can help you. So get back with the person that invited you onto this call, ask them questions, let them, it says I'm muted, but I'm not, right? Okay, perfect. Um, let them know what kind of questions you might have, if there's anything that we can help with, but um, we're, we're here for you guys. And that's the biggest thing of why we put this together is we, we want to be a place and an environment that people can come back to, a positive situation that people look forward to, and that we learn. We learn from each other, we learn about our own lives, and we learn how we can create uh, better things for ourselves, no matter what our situation is. You no, know, we can always take things to a different level. So we're so thankful that you guys are here. My name is Stephanie Beebe, and I'm really happy to have each of you guys here tonight. A couple things that we do, we do mute you out in the beginning, and then at the end of the call, we'll open up the lines, and if our presenters are able to stay on, they're there to answer any questions and be there. Um, Trisha and I are certainly here to answer any questions. It's become a little bit more of our family time as well, so certainly feel free to stay on afterwards. Otherwise, we do end at 45 minutes afterwards. Um, always, if you have any questions, get back with the person that invited you. We have a lot of communication that happens throughout <laughs> our time and our presenter is calling me right now okay <laughs> um i want to go ahead and open this up um trisha actually can you go ahead and yep. open it up thank you so yeah, much yeah sounds great so um do you want to go ahead and start sharing the screen stephanie we can do that i'm sure uh, uh i almost said tony i'm sure rod is just trying to get on the call and stephanie's helping him but Thank you guys all for showing up. We are so excited for tonight. We have incredible presenters. Um, just so you know, the stories that are shared tonight, um, as a disclaimer, you know, we don't ever um, promise that we're going to, you know, cure anything, diagnose anything. That's not what we're here for. You know, we are a health and wellness company, and it's all about your personal commitment, your, your, your work, your sacrifices, and like I said, your commitment to using um, the products for better health, and also doing the work that, you know, Rod and Heather are going to be sharing tonight to grow in your personal development, right? It's about you, not about what you're going to hear. What we hope that tonight will be inspiring stories that get you started on that path, because that's what it, what it has done for us. All right, so Isogenics is an incredible company that we are um, so proud to be a part of. This is our home, this is our family, and our Isogenic uh, statement that we all share proudly is to impact world health and free people from physical and financial pain and in the process create, and please listen to this, the most trusted and respected health and wellness company in the world. All right, so the stories that you hear, it really is about each person's commitment, over 600,000 people globally using our products, our systems, and a part of this beautiful community to, uh, to create a trusted and respected company that is truly providing results and solutions for people. You can move on. There we go. So next week, guys, we're bringing the thunder next week. We got some muscles coming. Um, Albie Shepard and Aaron Harrison are going to be on the call. If you want some energy, you're going to get some energy. These guys are so fun. Um, Albie was part of um, America Baseball, Aaron with football, and they have lots and lots of fun, good stories to share, as well as their love for the products and what they've done for their own health um, as husbands, fathers, and athletes. All right. Um, Stephanie, are you back on, Stephanie? I am. Thank you so much, Trisha. Wonderful. Yep. Great. So I want to introduce uh, both of our speakers tonight. They they are just absolutely wonderful. Heather has become a good friend to so many of us um, here from Arizona. And what she's going to share tonight is a little bit of her story of some things that she's gone through. She's gone through some stuff, but she's been absolutely focused on overcoming that and creating a life for herself that really, truly brings out what she wanted, right? Designing her life in a way. And we knew when we were, we were coming up with our stories of who was going to be and partner with Rod Harrison, Heather, 
mother was the perfect choice for that. And then Ron Hairston, he's become such a great friend to us. He was introduced to us by our company. And I'm so glad that you guys are here to learn about what Isogenics really truly has to offer. It is, it's continuously evolving and the solutions that they bring. And that's what Heather's going to share of how that, that dove into her story, but then Rod's here to show us how we can e expand even more. He has given us so many opportunities to take our heads and bring it into freedom. That's how I look at it. He's given us the gift of take away those negative thoughts or the thoughts that stay in there or the things that stay, that take space in our head. And he's just given freedom. So he creates healthy habits and freedom and positivity. And I just couldn't be more proud to introduce both of them to you. So Heather, if you can share your story, thank you so much. Hey everyone, my name is Heather Greenhaw and I've been with Isogenics for three and a half years and I feel so blessed to be here tonight to share a little bit of my journey and how this company and this community has truly influenced me and I pray that my story can make a difference for someone tonight. So we're going to talk tonight about mindset, healthy habits, and how powerful they are. Now my story is 44 years long, I don't have much time to share so I'm going to spare you the details of where it all began, but I will share with you that now looking back as an adult, I can see how my childhood and the things that I face have definitely shaped my mindset. Some of you that know me know that I came from a very abusive and dysfunctional childhood um, and you might question how that can be, but I know that that's where my determination started. I grew up being driven to make a difference. Difference. From the time I was seven years old, I didn't know who I wanted to be, but I knew who I didn't want to be. And I know a lot of you can understand that. I feel like I didn't grow up in ways about my thoughts, my opinions. In fact, hearing the words, I wish you were never born was normal for me. I didn't have anyone asking me what I wanted to be when I grew up or making sure my homework was done for the school next morning or that I had clean clothes. I went through physical abuse, emotional abuse, molestation. And I share that because I know that there are so many of you that can relate to that. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that those days were the ones that began to shape my mindset and who I was to become. And I know that your struggles have helped shape you too. So I became aware at a young age that if things were going to happen, I needed to make them happen. I, I figured out how I didn't want to live. I realized what kind of parent I didn't want to be. And as kids, we don't have a lot of control over our situation. So I I had to just endure, but the mindset of there has to be more truly began to drive who I was to become. And I grew up, became an adult, and things didn't always go as planned, right, as they often don't. Um, I had a lot of obstacles to overcome then too, as we all do. Divorce, being a single mom, losing a brother to suicide, um, losing jobs. But I always pushed, and even the moments when things were even good, I still felt like that there was more. I still felt like I could do more, like I could be more. I felt like if I could just be in charge of something and find something that I was passionate about, that I could make incredible things happen. I just didn't know what that was. Who else has felt like that? Comment in the chat if you have. I know so many of you can relate to that. Um, but our minds, uh, are tricky and we can easily get stuck, right? So at a young age, we start to have doubts and, and fears and we begin to create these old records that play in our mind over and over again. And it follows us into being an adult. Thoughts of, I can never have that or I can't do that or who am I to want that, right? I recently did some research on the brain and I'll share why in a minute, but did you know that we have 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day and 90% of those thoughts are in the past. They're thoughts that we've already had. Crazy, right? We're also cre creatures of habit. Um, think about it. Do you get out of bed the same way every day? Do you have the same morning routine? Do you drive to work the same way every day? Many of us would say yes to all of that. We live in habits. We have the same thoughts on replay. It's kind of like a computer program and our body and our mind can easily be on autopilot if we don't take control of it. Um, have you ever went to go get something out of the cabinet or the refrigerator and then realized that you've already done that? <laughs> yes, I see some head shaking. So anytime we try to do something new, those doubts and those fears automatically try to keep us and stop or keep us stuck and stop us. The words that we've heard so many times, comfort zone, right? For our body, our comfort zone is safety. So those fears and those doubts that we have are there to keep us safe so that we don't do anything crazy. 
But if we aren't careful and if we keep listening to them, they'll also keep us stuck. They'll keep us stuck in the hurt and the hards that we experience and keep us from ever truly living. What are one of your old records? Comment in the chat. We all have them. But for me, that that determined mindset that I developed at a young age, thank you, Jesus, little did I know was preparing me for isogenics and what I was about to face ahead. So I came into isogenics a little bit different than most. Most come in for the products. I actually came in for the products and the financial opportunity. Um, I was definitely looking to make a difference in my health. Um, I just turned 40. I was working out regularly and eating good, but I was still tired all the time. I didn't sleep well. I was bloated after everything that I ate. Um, I was definitely not happy with what I saw in the mirror, and I was just tired of feeling crummy. So my husband and I jumped all in, and within the first week, I could tell such an immediate difference. My energy was up, I was motivated again, and I just felt good. So I began sharing to, with others what I was doing, and I immediately realized that so many people were looking to make a change in their health. But I also started to realize that how people felt had a drastic impact on how people showed up. People that feel crummy just aren't happy. Anyone relate? Yes, <laughs> I know. There's a direct correlation to how we feel and how we show up each day. When we feel better, we do better, yes? So I instantly became passionate about helping others feel better so that they could live better. And I knew that this was what I was meant to be doing. And I didn't have a lot of belief in myself, I'll be honest, but I believed in trying to make a difference. And I knew that these products could do that. And the fact that I could get paid for helping other people, I was all in. So I actually left my corporate job just six months after starting Isogenics and I've never looked back. But what I didn't know at the time was what else I was gonna find. A community here that is full of love and support and inspiration like I've never experienced before. To say that I've grown in the past three and a half years is truly an understatement. I've done so many things, including presenting here tonight, that if you would have told me I would have been doing this four years ago, I would have said that there was no way. Um, but when you know that you have so many people cheering you on, so many people that truly believe in you, it gives you the courage to believe in yourself and to do more and be more. Being a part of this community, you are surrounded by so many positive people that are striving to be their best and truly trying to make a difference every day. Everyone cheers you on every step of the way through the good and the hard. So I mentioned that I recently did um, some research on the brain and that I would explain why. You see, we never know what, uh, what our mindset or what we'll face that our mindset can carry us through. So in 11 days, it'll be exactly one year ago that I was given a second chance. And I'm not gonna get emotional. June 8th, 2019, I had a stroke, uh, seven to be exact. Things were great, our business was thriving, we were two and a half years into this, I had been watching my little grandson three days a week, we had created such a special little bond, things were great, and then life threw me a curveball, as it often does, right? Um, I went from being a confident, strong, independent woman who was growing into becoming a leader to someone that couldn't even go to the bathroom by herself. Not because I couldn't physically, but because fear began to take over everything. When you're told that you're lucky that you're still here or that you're not in a nursing home being spoon fed and not even understand why it happened, mentally it handicaps you. So I also got really sick. Um, I got put on some medication. We didn't know what it was at the time. So for three weeks, this medication just wreaked havoc on my body. I lost 20 pounds in three weeks, which I don't have 20 pounds to lose. The only thing that I could get in my body were these shakes. I would do a quarter to a half a shake at a time and a couple nibbles of some crackers here and there. It was horrible. But I am so thankful for this incredible nutrition. I also began to have really bad panic attacks. Um, I would feel a twinge in my arm or a pain in my head, and I would immediately think that I was having another stroke, and it would just leave me spiraling mentally. This was my life for two months. Um, our minds are such a powerful thing, and mine was in control, and it wasn't in a good way. I thought my business was done. I thought my days of having my little guy were over and I felt helpless. I truly never saw myself being able to be left, left alone. I was just too fearful. Um, I was afraid to be alone, but 
I'm a praying woman. <laughs> and I began to pray for mental strength. And slowly, after I got off the medication, I began to feel better. I began to see the situation for what it was. And I was still here. And I knew that it was for a reason because God's plans are always good. So I either could let myself be stuck in that heart or I could help see it as a tool that I could help even more people because now I can relate to so many more people than I could before. Because unfortunately, it's so easy for people to get stuck in the hard and so many people do. So I could use this to reach other people. But today, I am blessed to say that I'm physically pretty much back to 100%. I have no doubt that the years of this incredible nutrition has helped and been instrumental in that, in my recovery. Mentally, I have my moments. They still haven't found out why I had the stroke, but you know what? That's okay because I have a second chance and that's all that matters. So many of us take our days for granted. Each day is truly a gift. And now I have a mindset that I know that there's so much more and I will have it for me, for my family. And I need to set an example for my grandchildren now, not only in health, but in lifestyle, in mindset. I want to instill in them that they can truly have, be, do anything that they desire to be. And I want to be their biggest cheerleader. So you won't hear me say that I can't because it's not true. We all have a choice to do anything that we want. Now, I'm not saying that I don't have fears or apprehension. I do all the time, especially when it comes to something like this and sharing on here tonight. The lack of belief creeps in with those old records. But with Isogenics, we have so many personal development opportunities. And like I mentioned, a community that is just filled with support. And so I know that for everyone listening tonight, we have no limits. You have no limits. And what I also know is there's so many of you that um, you're on here and you want a change. That's why you're on this call. Whether you're a part of Isogenics yet or not, you desire more. We Honestly, we all desire more. Comment in the chat section if you want more. That's why you're here. And I also know that many of you have come from a similar background than I have. And I know that you've struggled with the old records. But today, I want to instill in you that I want you to make a choice today to stop listening to those old records, to stop letting them keep you stuck. If you're looking for a community to help support you reaching your goals, you found it. <laughs> the vision that you have for your future, no matter what it is, no matter how crazy it seems, will one day be a reality if you are open to and something new and if you're open to putting in the work. So believe it because I believe in you. So I want to quickly share about these amazing products that I've been talking about very quickly and then we're going to hear from an incredible man that is going to leave you so empowered. So like I mentioned before, the better we feel, the better we show up. And I just want to share that we have so many solutions for everything. We are truly a one-stop shop for everything where you can trust that you're getting clean and high high quality products. If you're looking to lose weight, uh, better performance in the gym, we've got you covered. Uh, we even have sports or informed sports certified products for any that are familiar with that. Um, if you're looking for targeted solution, uh, immune health, joint health, we have so much more skincare. Um, we have all of that too. And of course, we have an incredible opportunity that can truly change the financial future for your family. So a piece of advice, um, when you're looking for products um, for your health, I really always like to tell people, you always want to ask, what are the source of ingredients? What are the quality and standards that they have as far as safety and purity? And are they scientifically proven? And I promise you, we have all of those covered. So a couple qu quick products. First of all, we have the Cleanse for Life. This really supports your body's natural de detoxing process. Um, it's 100% natural. It doesn't use any harsh laxatives or diuretics. You're not going to have any bathroom issues. Yes, I said it. <laughs> Those cleanses are not good for our body. Instead, this really soothes your digestive system. It supports your metabolism, and it really is scientifically proven to target that visceral fat, that dangerous fat that's around our organs and creates disease. And it's a key part to rebalancing our body. Then we have our shakes, which are designed to flood your body with nutrition. It's packed 
with all kinds of nutrients. It's like eating three organic meals at a time, except in a very minimal amount of calories. We all know that our processed foods don't have the same nutrients that they once did. That's where this comes in. That's left our body struggling without the correct nutrients. This shake gives our body those nutrients that it needs. It's soy-free, gluten-free, no artificial sweeteners, non-GMO, low glycemic, and it tastes amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Ionic Supreme is next, also known as our happy juice. This helps stress with stress, inflammation, and so much more. Guys, stress is horrible for our body. It's known as the silent killer for a reason, and it is linked to so many diseases, including obesity. Ionix has an incredible blend of ingredients that are designed to help keep our hormones, especially our cortisol, our stress, from spiraling out of control throughout the day. Complete Essentials. I love our Complete Essentials. We all know that we must be supplementing, right? Research is showing even if you eat organic, you're still not getting the vitamins and minerals that your body needs. And minerals are a key factor here. Multivitamins are not enough, guys. You need minerals. So our Complete Essentials are perfect combination um, filled with vitamins and minerals for cardiovascular support, joint support, uh, um, health, uh, immunity. They are game changers. And then we have our isogenesis. This focuses on protecting our telomeres. And I'm not gonna get too sciencey here, but our telomeres are at the end of our DNA. And when our, when our telomeres start to break down, that's when our body starts to break down as well and seeing the effects of the aging. Um, so our isogenesis helps to short or helps to protect those telomeres so they shorten much slower. Um, there's truly nothing like it on the market. So we have a lot of different ways to get started. You can um, take, you know, take a look at what we have. I highly encourage you to reach out to the person that invited you here tonight. They can talk with you about your goals and really find the best fit for you. Um, I personally got started on the value pack absolute game changer, highly encourage that. Um, but we want to help you get started on a path to better health. And getting started is the first step and we want to help you do that. So without further ado, I am so, I feel so privileged to be able to introduce to you um, a man that is going to leave you feeling so empowered, Mr. Rod Harrison. Wow, thank you so much. That was beautiful. It's just one thing I don't believe I believed everything you said, but you're a grandmother? No, I don't believe <laughs> Everything else, I believe. The grandmother part, uh, I'm gonna need some evidence. Guys, thank you so much. And uh, I, uh, I miss you guys, first of all. Um, and I wanna start off by just talking about my history with Isogenics and the Coovers. I knew Kathy Coover back in 1995, guys. Uh, and actually, I went to one of her events and I joined um, her organization. She was in the network marketing company. I won't say the name. And um, we got to know each other. And she joined Growth U, which is my organization way back then. <laughs> I think it was called Envision U at the time. And she started going through all of the programs and we became really, really great friends. And um, that company had some issues and her identity wasn't to play games with companies that didn't really have the integrity. So the Coovers retired. And then, the, and then she gave me a call because I started coaching her and she asked me, this guy, John Anderson keeps calling me, what should I do? And she wouldn't listen to Jim. And, then, and Kathy talked about this from stage. So I want all of you to kind of, this is gonna lead us into our conversation tonight. And I said to her, if we weren't wounded, because John Anderson needed some really, really great partners, if we weren't wounded, what would you do? And I think I said a little bit more than that, and she called him back. And this is before Google and all of that stuff, so you couldn't Google people or get online. And um, she called me back and she goes, this, it, this sounds so exciting. And then the conversations went on, and she goes, I think we're gonna go to Arizona and meet with him. And I went my way, she went her way. And then so many, I think 2014, when we connected again, and they invited me back into Isogenics with Healthy Mind and Body and a lot of training the corporate staff and everything else. Guys, what I want to talk about tonight is identity. When I met Kathy and Jim Coover and became friends, what made them so attractive to John Anderson is their identity. And I wanna talk about that because 
and at the foundation of all success is your identity. In fact, the strongest force in human nature is to stay consistent with the identity you hold of yourself. And your identity is not conscious. And this is the mistake a lot of people make. So when you think about your desire in life, you think about the things that you want to create, your financial success, your health, your, your body, your relationship. You think about what you want. You look at your goals and your visions and you ask yourself, am I there? Did I sabotage it? Did I, am I not, am I motivated towards it? And if you're not, please be careful. Don't beat yourself up. Stop calling yourself names. It just simply means that your identity is not in alignment with your vision and your purpose. Okay. And I remember Kathy deciding to step away from that business and really, 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 really getting associated with her vision because it, she couldn't identify with that business anymore, the business that we're in. And as a result, I stopped being in the business as well because again, I trusted her identity. They always worked on her identity. Long ago, before we introduced any programs like Cygenics, Kathy Cooper went through all of those programs and it was all the work around identity all the work around making sure that her identity aligned with the vision of the organization. And Jim, he had the identity, right? He, I'm not gonna say he did as much work as Kathy. However, he had that identity and that's what they spoke from. And I think sometimes when they get on stage, they don't really speak about it, maybe because they don't know, maybe because they're unconsciously competent. But tonight I really wanna share the, 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 the steps to expanding your identity. Now remember, how I identify is like my operating system. So you guys see this, this phone. This iPhone operates from, it has an identity and it's OS, right? It's an operating system. And if you don't update your operating system, you can't use new apps. You can't take advantage of new applications or new things that the phone can do. At, at, at a certain point, the phone will do you a favor. If you won't download the new operating system, it will do it for you. As humans, we don't have that luxury. We have to choose to mature and expand our identity on our own, okay? So when you think about, now, now going back, I love isogenics. And even though I'm not training as much, it's because I expanded my identity and I'm growing my own business to a tremendous level. However, I will always reach out and support Isogenics because I love the Coovers, all of you are family, and this company is the best out there. Absolutely, and I can say that not even being affiliated, not getting anything for saying this tonight. You're not joining my downline, you're not supporting me, you're not paying me. I'm saying it because it's the absolute truth. And you, your responsibility is to expand your identity to keep up with the opportunities that this organization creates, right? So all of you, you have your own business by being part of this organization. You have somebody that's doing the marketing, the culture, the training, the development, the product development, the packaging, the shipments. All of this is beautiful. You guys know all of this. Emotionally, what are you going to do? Mentally, what are you going to do? Physically, what are you going to do to be congruent, right? Energetically, what are you going to do to create the energy to attract people and to go out and perform at the highest level, okay? I want to challenge you with that. And that, that, that depends solely on your identity, okay? So the awareness of understanding that, how can I identify what the success that Heather was talking about? Can I identify with the vision that I've created? Can I identify with that ranking that I want in the organization? Can I identify with the value I want to provide for other people? Okay. And so tonight, just listen really, really closely and take notes and start working on it and then go out and, do, and, go out and do the work. So think about it. What, what, is, what is identity made of and what makes it so powerful? Well, your identity is made up of your habits, your behavior, your beliefs, your values, both moving towards and away from, okay? That means that you move away from pain, emotional pain, and you move towards emotional pleasure. It's made up of your purpose. All of those things, your habits, your behavior, your beliefs, 
your, 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 your values, your purpose, all combined make up your identity, okay? So all of the work that we do, everything that we talk about tonight, if you listen to Heather, listen for identity statements. Listen for the things that you say I am around or you think I am around, right? That's, that's identity language. So think about it. So I know that if I create this vision and I'm in my comfort zone, right? Your comfort zone is sort of the home of the, the old identity that you might have. What do I need to do to, 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 to move towards that vision? Well, I want you to recognize that when you, you, when you step outside of the comfort zone, you step into the vision zone if you've created a strong vision. If you didn't create a strong vision, you step into uncertainty, okay? Which is still better than being in the comfort zone. So when you create that vision of what you want to create in your life, it's not so that you can look around and be disappointed. A lot of people are afraid to create a vision specifically because they think, well, Rod, last time I created a vision, I was disappointed. A vision isn't for you to get anything. It's for you to become something. It's for the expansion of your identity. All of the things that you get are a reward. It's like a, a side effect. My wealth, I live in, I, I have a beautiful ranch here and I bought it from the Dixie Chicks. And so we have, it was their old ranch and we're here today, right now. And I, 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 I forget that it's amazing. And I, and, I, and I have a new partner coming in and she was talking about how amazing it is. And we got this studio. In fact, before COVID, the Rolling Stones were gonna stay at our property. Right, well, now why, that's really amazing, why? Well. It's not a big deal for me, you wanna know why? Because it doesn't make me, it, it doesn't mean anything. I love it, but it's the identity where I get my fulfillment from, not having a, a, a huge ranch or not having this amount of money or not having this ranking. I want you to start thinking, think a little differently and look at what the organization is offering. It's offering for you to become something, not get something. So I know people talk about your financial success and a home you can have, Always let that be a reward of your, what you're doing. If you're, if you're achieving to be happy, that simply means that your identity is not in alignment. People that have the identity, they don't. The money is just a byproduct of who they are. If I wanna be healthy, guys, and I use the products, and I eat right, and I work out consistently, because I want to be healthy and be an example of possibility, well, I'm gonna have muscles. I'm gonna have energy. All of those things are a byproduct of being healthy. Does that make sense? Right? All of the things that you have in your life on a material level should be a product of you having a wealthy identity. Okay? So I want all of you to think that way. You have to change. If you've never gotten those results in your life, if you didn't come from a family that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, then you got to change. You're going to have to grow. You're going to have to expand and you're gonna be uncomfortable, please celebrate when you are uncomfortable. That simply means that you are now playing with the right stuff. It's outside of your comfort zone. If you're comfortable, then you're created a la la go. I was talking to a person the other day and he was like, you know, Rod, I, I really wanna be rich like Bill Gates. And I was like, okay, now you're getting a la la land, right? You, you're getting a la la land because real Bill, Bill Gates did not create that. That was timing. Our dad that has, that has a law firm to help you with all your lawsuits. Ever the, the moment being right, the market being right, people making silly mistakes, IBM just not thinking at all. All of those things that have come into play. You are in an organization where you can create a realistic goal, a realistic vision of what you want to accomplish a realistic opportunity to grow and expand and go to the next level. Write that down. And feel uncomfortable. Okay? Write that down and feel uncomfortable. After you feel uncomfortable, then you're now, you wanna start working on your identity. The only reason you will feel uncomfortable is because your identity is being stretched. That's when you know you're, you're, the game is on. Right? When I know I can't build muscle until I break down the old muscle. I don't build muscle by lifting weights. I tear my muscle. I go to sleep. I feel sore. 
I eat the right things, I take up the right products, right? And my muscles grow to a point that won't allow the resistance to broke it down, that broke it down in the first place to break it down in the future. That's what growth on mental, emotional, physical, energetic level is all the same way. So I'm gonna challenge all of you, create a vision that's outside of your comfort zone, be uncomfortable, and then celebrate that, right? That's what courage is. That's why courage is needed. Courage only comes when fear and uncertainty is around. And this is when people step up and they can expand and go to the next level, okay? Now, when you think about that, there's three ways of shifting your identity, three ways. Number one, a significant emotional event. We wanna be careful about this one, guys. Significant emotional event. So when you look at life and you look at bad things that happen to people, those bad things really aren't bad things. They're really trying to save you. Guys, and, and, and I want to apologize in advance for people that might have had a heart attack or you know people with a heart attack. A heart attack isn't the problem. Heart attack is really trying to save your life, believe it or not, right? It's not bad. It's something else caused that attack to happen to save your life. If you, if you, if you go unconscious, you went unconscious to save your life doesn't always work. So I want you to think the same way about the things that you go through, right? You don't want significant emotional events to force you to grow. And a lot of people wait until they're, they're sick. A lot of people wait until they're about to lose their home. They're about to lose their relationship. And then they get this significant emotional event and they go from Saul to Paul. That's how you get on Oprah. So a lot of people think that's the way to change. It's not the best way to change. In fact, to be proactive means that you're thwarting significant emotional events to come in your life. I, I would rather do it that way. Be boring with your growth. Be boring with your wealth. Be proactive, okay? Be proactive in visioning, proactive in your action, proactive in your journaling, proactive in your prayer, your meditation, whatever you need to do, okay? Second way that you shift identity is conditioning conditioning. That means that I do a little bit every day. I don't, I take action to change my habits and I let my habits get the results for me. People don't do that. We don't do that when it comes to the things that we want, that we desire to have. We go, we're the go-getter. We go get it. And big mistake. Think about all of your bad habits and think about how you develop them. You didn't go eat the whole cake in one night. You didn't go smoke the whole pack of cigarettes the first time you smoked. You didn't go drink a whole 12 pack of beer. You didn't do it. You did a little bit at a time. You did a little bit at a time without thinking about it. And over time, your nervous system was like, hmm, okay, commitment and consistency, commitment and consistency, commitment and consistency. That's behavioral change and that's identity formation. And when you look at the psychological concepts, because you're doing a little bit every day, the mind looks at what you do, what you do, not what you say, what you do. So when I go all out, right, when it comes to success, I'm actually working against my old identity and it will lock down. So here's a tip. Do a little bit every day, guys. Get in a program. Do a program yourself. Journal. Even if you don't feel like it, it's do. Do not do things to get something. Do things to become something. And guess what? Your habits will support you in becoming more than anything else. Do it for 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, right? You guys kind of notice, those of you that are familiar with the, the, the program, it's very, very powerful. So when you write out your vision, say, I want to become the person that can create this vision and go beyond this vision. And before you get to that vision, expand it and take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. Keep, you should never reach your vision. It should always keep moving out. You should always, you should love being uncomfortable. I love being uncomfortable because I know I'm growing. I've fallen in love with it. It's exciting. I call it stimulation. Now. I don't get stimulation by taking a risk. I get stimulation by growing, by expanding by continually pushing my vision out to the next level, right? The third way 
you expand your identity is your, your environment, your community. Guys, this is probably the best asset in isogenics. It, I, I call isogenics a she. She attracted the most magnificent people around. You're around growth oriented people who all want to be healthy and help the world be healthy. Right now with this COVID situation or this COVID opportunity, I call it, the best thing that you can do is boost your immunity. Can you think of any better products to boost your immunity? Can you think of any other best, any better products to be healthier, to be strong? Can you think of any company with a culture that supports that? No, you are in the right place at the right time, big time. So now what you have to do is you have to consistently be on these calls, consistently communicate intentionally with the people that have the identity that's consistent with yours. So I want all of you to think that way. How do I, you, these, these calls should be consistently going on. You should always be in a conditioning program. Because again, guys, your mind needs nutrition way more than your body, way more, because it has more capability. You have 100 billion brain cells. The calculations and permutations of what you're capable of are infinite. Like we use less than 1% of our creativity, 1% of our memory, 1% of our problem solving faculties, 1%. So we're all playing small. That's the most beautiful thing about life. When I learned that, when I learned that with everything I've accomplished from where I came from, I'm still playing like small and that no matter how long I live, I'm gonna be playing small. This is a fun game now, folks, All right? And every step I make, every opportunity I get to expand my identity, I, I am more fulfilled. I feel better about me. I become an example of possibility for the things that I've created for people that focus on things. And then slowly but surely, they start seeing that life is about what's in here. You can have all of these things, guys. Have your jets, your homes, have all of those things if that's what you're not taking anything from anyone else. But never compromise who you're becoming for what you're getting. So the go-getter, and that's stupid. I'm sorry for those of you that feel that way. I apologize. It's old school, right? Becoming that person, becoming that champion, becoming that millionaire, actually being able to say, I am. I am that I am is the two most powerful words ever spoken, I am. And if you can identify with the things that you want, the warmth, the power, and the fulfillment that comes with that is very, very powerful. You know, most people, most people operate in a lottery syndrome and they don't even realize it. They're looking for the thing that's gonna bail them out. Some people will even attract the right situations. If you're on this call tonight, you're attracted to the situation. That simply means that the law of attraction was working and you're here, but then you are shifted into the lottery syndrome. All of a sudden it'll be like, this is the answer for me. This is what's gonna make me happy. I finally found, you didn't finally found, find anything. Isogenics is an amazing organization, but it is not the answer. You are the answer. You are the answer, okay? You are the, and if you're, if you, if you can find that answer out while you're in this organization, then the fruit that you're going to bear is going to be phenomenal. Be careful about the lottery syndrome. Be careful about, it's okay to listen to the coaches and the advice and Stephanie and Heather, they're phenomenal leaders. They're massively, massively influential. And everything they're telling you is for you to become that, not to hope that they give you some magic formula that's gonna finally work for you now. You are the magic formula. You were born with that gift. You have to look in and cultivate that. Do it here. Because when you do do it, you look in, you can, when you decide to look out from a strong place, you'll see all of the opportunity around you. So I want all of you to, 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 really, to really get that. Isogenics isn't the lottery. You're right, right? And, and you always notice that people that play the lottery, you never see them two years later. You don't ever see the lottery get people on and say, 
hey, Mr. Hairston, you won $200 million two years ago. Tell folks what you did with that money. I can't because I lost it. I, it it's ruined my life for the vast majority of people. The vast majority of lottery winners have blown it all. Even the ones that get the payment plan, it's gone. Why? Because they didn't have the identity to create that wealth. Life is about who you become. Even when I create a financial vision, guys, I have a financial vision. I, have a, I had a vision of having a, a ranch like this, right? I had a vision of having a home that I live in. I had a vision of all of these things. But my vision was telling me in which direction to grow, not for me to be happy once I got there. There is no there. Life is always a continuous, beautiful journey. But the fulfillment and the peace that you have and your ability to feel so amazing and sleep at night, your ability to want to, to, you, to desire at the deepest level to help other people because you recognize that you're connected. That's what life is about. And you're in a perfect organization for that right now. You know, I, 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 the, I, I remember going to, um, I, we, we work for a lot of companies and we work for one university and they're a division one school. They're one of the top schools in the US for them. They have one of the best football programs. And we got it invited to train, the, to, to work with the team. So I came out to the team, to the, uh, the practice field and the, I asked the coach, why, why, did you, why, why am I here? That's what I asked him. This is one of the best programs in the world. You're a great coach. He goes, Rod, that thing about identity. I said, tell me more. And he goes, well, all of these kids were the biggest fish in a small pond. All of these kids, all of these kids that got scholarships, they were the best of the best in their community. They've never lost a lot of them. They've never really had major competition. They're the best. Guess what? They're all here with each other now. <laughs> and he said, it's the kid that can expand his identity that's going to make it. He also told me another story. He goes, then look at this kid. And I said, uh-huh. He goes, this kid I get every year. He came from the inner city. This kid had a 4.2 GPA. He lived with his mom. He never joined the gangs. He stayed out of trouble. He's the best player on my team. This kid is going to sabotage himself and get kicked out of this program like they do every year. If I have three of these kids, two are going to mess it up. He goes, why are they so stupid? I'm like, they're not stupid. You said it, identity. The strongest force in human nature is to stay consistent with the identity you hold of yourself. You will sabotage any level of success if you're not willing to work on your identity. So I started working with these kids. I didn't work on performance. I didn't work on name calling. I didn't work on calling them stupid. I didn't work, I just aligned with where they were, made them feel beautiful about how they were being. And I let them know that they had to expand their identity to align with the vision that they wanted. And so that's what I'm gonna challenge all of you to do. Expand your identity, grow, go to the next level. Seek to, to work on your belief systems. So I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework tonight. And I want you to be, and this is your own private journal, but this is where you have to be authentic and you have to stop owning a lot of your patterns or the things that you don't like, okay? Your patterns protected you at a certain point. When I was in the military, we, had, we, went, through, we went through a thing in spec war called a debrief. And the debrief was when you came back they would take you through an exercise to change your identity to be a civilian. Because you're in Virginia Beach, Virginia, you go out and get in a fight, and now you're fighting like this is the enemy, and you're trying to kill the person when it's just some drunk guy that just wants to show off in front of his girlfriend or something. They didn't want, that. They didn't want so you had to go through a debrief for almost two weeks before you would actually go back and to be in a civilian, or you would go back depending upon your mission or your objective or how you where you deploy. And so I'm, I'm saying to all of you, we are now playing in the opportunity to create more wealth in your life, to create more health in your life, to create more connection in your life, to create more fulfillment in your life. And I'm gonna tell you, if you've never had that before, 
you have to give yourself a debrief, right? And your debrief is, what do you believe? What do you believe about you? Be honest with yourself, guys. You don't need to share this with your significant other or anybody. Just write out, what do I really believe when I think about joining this business? Or when I think about this business, what do I really believe about me? And then I want you to write out, what do I need to believe? What do I need to believe? And here's where you can go and reach out to Stephanie and Heather and some of the other leaders on the call and ask them, what do you believe? What do you believe about you? Okay, very important to do so. Also, I want you to start recognizing when you think about the emotions that most drive you in this business, like what emotional state am I after? What emotional satisfaction am I after by being in this organization? I want you to write that down. What emotions are you looking for? Are you looking for, is this certainty for you? Is this significance for you? What is it for you? Have clarity around what your other than conscious mind is doing. Have clarity around what the conditioning or program. Remember, when I deploy my emotional states, when I was in the military and I deployed, the emotional states that I had in the belief systems saved my life. But those same ones will put me in prison if I don't change them to the new environment or the new opportunity by being a civilian. So I had to debrief, I had to like really reframe all of those experiences. But before I can reframe them, I had to know what they were, okay? So sit down and write out, what emotional states am I looking for? And then the third thing I want you to think about and write out is, why, why would I want to be successful in this business? Why would I want to be successful in this business? Why would I want to be successful? And write it down. Why would I want to be successful? Why would I want to lead? Why would I want to be healthy? Why would I want to do those things? Write them down. And then the last thing is what would have to happen in order for me to be successful? what would have to happen and that should make you uncomfortable you and i want you to measure that in your wealth your financial terms and i want you to measure that in your 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 health your physical terms so why and then what okay and guys just writing that down and being honest with yourself is going to support you so much right and developing this intrinsic or this internal motivation and you're going to start seeing that all of the things that i need everything i need is within me right now heather helped me find a little bit tonight i still don't believe she's a grandmother i, I think that that's a little bit of a significance going on or something like i'm a grandma and we're like oh i want proof right stephanie is going to help you with that right right right? They're going to help you with the belief systems. They're going to help you and support you with all of the things that you need when you get to that physical and that material level. That's all there, but that's not where fulfillment comes from. That's the cherry on top of the, 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 the pie, right? That's, the, that's the, the reward, but the fulfillment comes from who you become, okay? So I'm going to stop now. I've said a lot. I've talked a lot. I want to turn it over to open it up for questions. And I would love to turn this over to the lovely Stephanie. And uh, thank you guys all for being here tonight and allowing me to support your growth. Oh, I think we all need a moment. <laughs> um, everybody take a deep breath. Rod just gave us a lot of information and things to think about and a lot of gifts and nuggets that really truly will last you a lifetime when you dive into what he gave you and the things to think about and, and what you wrote down or at least the questions so that you can think about it these are nuggets that will help you for the rest of your life um, many of us feel that way and rod i don't know if you had a chance to read any of our comments but we all want to get back on the program we all want to come to the chick ranch uh, we, we need to schedule our events <laughs> and, and just be around you and, and feel that and listen to your words for hours and hours. 
I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I know. <laughs> no, that was fanning a fly, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but Rod, we couldn't thank you enough um, because these truly are uh, amazing words that that you do instill in us and allow us to think differently, to react differently, and to vision our lives and become and become just be our identity. So, if you have six minutes, Rod, just six minutes, if that's at all possible, we love to do an after chat. And I'd love to have you stay on because I'm sure that there's, you know, different comments that people want to make, but especially if anyone has any questions. And Heather, you as well. I mean, your, your, your story fit in perfectly with Rod and, and just completely aligned to showcase someone believing what their identity is and, and what it can become. And, and you showed it in every single way. So perfect. All right, guys, do you guys have some questions for Heather or Rod? We have just a couple of minutes as, as our after chat going on. <laughs> oh, they might be muted. You'll have to unmute yourself if you do have any questions. Stephanie, I've just got a comment to make. Is that all right? Yes, please. Okay, so I went, um, I was lucky enough to go to a Rod Harrison event right at the beginning of my build. Um, Tracy O'Malley invited her top, I don't know, 25 people or something. And I was brand new. And, you know, that identity that he's talking about, um, I didn't necessarily feel it yet. But knowing that I got to go, and it, it was like three days. I don't know, Rod, if you remember that. It was in Gilbert, and it was a Tracy O'Malley event. And it got real deep, real fast. And um, it was, I think that it, it like set me up for this crazy trajectory um, because I didn't know it yet, but just being there, you know, it, it made me feel it. And so it became my identity. And I was like, oh, oh, I guess I'm a leader. And I mean, I came from another company where I was a leader, but um, it was really neat to get to, get to go to that right out of the shoot. And um, it was probably like four and a half years ago, almost five years ago now, Rod. I don't know if that's ringing any bells, but it was significant. So thank you. And thank you for that, Sybil, because that we, we took advantage of that weekend when he was in town <laughs> and he did, he did a, a few different events. So you brought quite a few of us back to that weekend because that was a big, big deal. Um, we had quite a few guests and, and just amazing thing happened. Rod, I'll let you, you know, expand on that. But I want the rest of you that were, that went to that event to remember that's that same weekend that Sybil's talking about. So go ahead and go back to those moments because many of you received that time. Yeah, that, that was uh, two or three days of this work <laughs> where we all went really deep. And it was really, really powerful for me as well. Because again, every time I get the opportunity to share principle, I grow with you. So I love the opportunity of, of having such receptive, brilliant people. And guys, again, you got to remember, the, the transmitter is only as good as a receiver. If, we don't, if we're not on the same frequency, you have zero idea what I'm talking about or what Heather is talking about or what Stephanie is talking about. So if you find this information amazing, it's because you are amazing. And I want always, remember, find every reason to expand your identity without being arrogant because you are special, right? You are. You are in your own unique way. Thank you, Sybil. Hi, Steph. Who else? Please, Nancy. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say I, I've done Rod's course and I also did his mastery program. And the one thing, and I did it five years ago, that I found to be so incredibly perfect is when you're talking to people about their nutrition, if their mind and their mental health and emotional and that ID isn't there, they're not really going to be ready to take advantage of what the nutritional system offers them. So I've made it a practice. I always say, take this program first, even help yourself get prepared to move into your best self. And Rod, there's not enough that can be said about how good the program is. 
Thank you, Nancy. And again, I, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Go out there and share this stuff, guys, because again, strongest force in human nature is to stay consistent with the identity you hold of yourself and your identity is unconscious. So a lot of people think they know it, but you'll get a much better idea of your identity by looking at your results, right? Without judging yourself, with recognizing that all of the capability you need is within. So thank you, Nancy, that's beautiful. Who else? Hey Rod, I just want to thank you for being on tonight. It's so good to see you again. And, you know, just going off what Nancy said, it's, it's interesting, but, you know, sometimes you have to take a few steps in the right direction to get yourself actually in a place where you can do the work. So for a lot of people, I'm so grateful for Isogenics and the community we have because they start with the products, which fuels their body, fuels their mind, gets them healthier, gets them some energy. And then they recognize they're a part of this beautiful community and then they get kind of, you know, they start to, to see the growth that we're going through personally. And so, you know, it's all about timing and it's all about what you said, that law of attraction. You, you know, you want to be healthy, you become healthier. You want to grow personally. So you start growing personally by being in the right places at the right time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Take advantage of that, guys. I, sometimes I get, <clears throat> sometimes because this network marketing is so known and it's so cliche and all, and then you hear about all these, guys, this is pretty special. Do, do not, do, don't generalize this opportunity because, you know, that's like saying all men are a certain way or all women are a certain way. Or all Americans are a certain way. Or all white people or black people are, it's lazy thinking. Be careful about having lazy thinking. This is unique and it's individual. And, and, and all of the things, all of the money, effort and energy that the, the, the leaders put into this company. So remember, keep it unique, keep it original. Uh, and with that, I think that's our closing. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. We, we really can't thank you enough. As you know, we truly love you um, and all that you represent and give to us. 